The president further blasted House Democrats for not taking a stronger stand against anti-Semitism. This comes after Rep. Ilhan Omar, D. Minnesota, made additional remarks about Israel. President Trump called on Republicans who are thinking about voting against the emergency declaration. While most Republicans in the Senate have supported Trump's executive order, some have expressed their disapproval for the national emergency. Related before the national emergency vote, Graham sends a final plea to Republicans, if you don't believe Trump, check it out for yourselves is. The House voted last week to block Trump's emergency declaration, which could help free up billions of dollars to fund a wall on the southern border. The vote was 245-182, with 13 Republicans joining Democrats in voting for the legislation, per Fox News. But even if the legislation passes, it would almost certainly be vetoed by the White House. In that case, it would require two-thirds majorities in the House and Senate to override the veto, which would be unlikely. Trump's declaration came after Congress okay at a spending bill that provided $1.4 billion for border barriers at various parts of the border, but much less than the $5. $7 billion Trump had demanded. The declaration gives Trump access to an additional $3. $6 billion in funding that he can divert to the wall, reported Fox News. The commander in chief urged fellow Republicans to stay united in the face of a Democrat led effort to nix his declaration of a national emergency at the border. He wrote, Senate Republicans are not voting on constitutionality or precedent, they are voting on desperately needed border security and the wall. Our country is being invaded with drugs, human traffickers, and criminals of all shapes and sizes. That's what this vote is all about. Stay united.